Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 8 Home Services project. In this video, we are going to learn about create service categories. So let's see how can we create service categories. Uh, first of all, let's create a model and migration for this service categories. Okay, so for that, uh, switch to the command prompt and for creating the model, uh, just type here the command php artisan make colon model a space model name uh, let's say model name is service category all right and for creating the migration just write here dash m now press enter okay model and migration created now switch to the project and let's open the migration okay so just go inside the database directory then migration and uh, from here let's open this one create service categories okay and uh, Inside this migration, let's add some column here. So after this, just write here dollar table arrow column name string and data type string and column name name. Okay, and another one dollar table data type string and column name slug and also add here index. Okay. Now add here the image, uh, image column. So right here dollar table, arrow, the string, and column name image. All right. Now save this migration and uh, now let's migrate this migration. So switch to the command prompt and uh, for migrating the migration, just type here the command php artisan migrate. Okay. Now press enter. Migration done. Now let's create the seeder uh, for inserting some records into the service categories table. Okay. So for creating the seeder, just type here the command php artisan make colon seeder a space seeder name. Uh, let's say seeder name is service category seeder. Okay. Now press enter. Uh, it's created now switch to the project and uh, inside the just go inside the database directory and then seeders and from here uh, let's open this one service category seeder okay and inside the run method just write here db and also import here db like this illuminate support facade slash db okay then colon colon table and uh, add here the table name which is service categories you can see here this table name so let's copy this table name and paste here and now call here insert method and inside this insert method let's pass an array and inside this array add one more array and uh, here Add the column name, name, arrow, and put here the value. Let's say category service category name is AC. Another column name which is slug, arrow. Uh, just write here the slug name AC. Okay and for images uh, category images add here the column name image arrow and put here the image name okay uh, for getting the uh, categories image uh, let's getting the images okay so go to the google google.com and uh, inside google uh, let's search here search side media github page okay this one and now click on github link and just click on this repository laravel 8 project home services and from here you can see here the categories.zip uh, file okay let's download this file and extract this okay after unzipping this uh, zip file you will get uh, this folder okay now let's copy this folder and uh, go to the project directory 
okay and now just open the public folder and inside the images directory just paste here okay you can see here these are the categories images okay now let's copy this uh, ac icons name okay so just copy and uh, go to the project and inside the images just paste here the image name all right now add here comma and then also add here the semicolon okay in same way uh, let's add uh, some more categories so i have already written this these categories okay you can see here in notepad these are the categories so let's copy these categories and uh, after this just paste here okay these are the categories you can see here ac beauty plum uh, plumbing electrical shower filter home cleaning and so and so all right now save this file okay now let's open the database c.php file okay this one and inside the run method after this just write here service category okay uh, service category cedar not service category uh, service category cedar this one okay then colon colon class and uh, before adding this uh, just write here dollar this arrow call okay and inside this just pass here an array and inside this array write this service category cedar uh, colon class colon colon class okay and also added the semicolon now save this file okay now let's run this cedar so uh, go to the command prompt and uh, before running the cedar just uh, run one command composer dump auto load okay so right here composer dump dash auto load okay now press enter all right now let's execute the dbc artisan command okay so for that just write here the command php artisan db colon seed okay now press enter and you can see here database setting completed successfully now let's check this uh, these categories into into table so go to the php my admin so in new tab new tab let's open the php my admin localhost php my admin and let's open the database home services db and you can see here the table service categories uh, now click on browse and here you can see the all categories okay all, uh, categories name slug name and here is images all right now let's create a new live wire component so go to the command prompt and for creating the new live wire component just type here the command php artisan make colon live wire a space uh, component name uh, let's say component name is uh, okay uh, right one more time live wire uh, php artisan make colon live wire a space category name a uh, component name uh, let's say component name is service service category categories okay component okay now press enter component created now switch to the project and uh, let's create the route for this component so just go inside the route directory then wave.php file and uh, after this route uh, let's create a new route so right here route colon colon get add here the URI slash service dash categories 
and now add here the class name component class name which is service categories component okay service categories component this one and now add here the colon colon class and also give here the route name name and add here the route name home dot uh, service categories service categories also add here the underscore service categories okay now let's copy this service spelling mistake and now save this okay now let's uh, let's add the link for this uh, this route so go to the uh, layout file so from the resources directory resources views layouts and from here let's open the base.blade.php file okay and inside this file uh, after this logo li just add here another li so i'm just going to copy this one and paste here now close this CLI and change here the text service categories ok and also add here the route name so remove this and add here double curly bracket the route and now let's copy the route name home and uh, dot service underscore categories okay copy and paste here now comment this now save this file okay all right now let's uh, open this uh, service categories component class file so just go inside the app directory then http live wire uh, and from here let's open this one service categories component.php file and here let's add the layout name layout uh, and inside this layout just pass here the layout name layouts.base now uh, inside the render method uh, let's fetch here the all service categories okay so for that let's create here a variable is categories is equal to model name service categories service categories category okay this one this model then colon colon all now uh, let's pass this s categories service categories to the view so inside this just add here the big bracket then s categories arrow dollar s categories okay Note dollar here. All right, now save this file. Now let's open the service categories component view file. So inside the resources directory, views, live web, and from here let's open this one. Okay, now just remove this. And here let's add the HTML template uh, for the service categories okay so go to the template directory and from here let's open the service categories dot uh, html file in text editor so right click open with notepad plus plus and uh, from this file let's copy uh, the code from here after this header okay closing header tag uh, so let's copy it from here uh, to here okay now let's copy this and uh, paste inside the service categories component view file inside this team. Alright. Now uh, just add here the link for the home. So add here the forward slash. Okay. And uh, also change here the name service service categories. Okay, 
and you can see here the these are the list for uh, for showing all the service categories okay so let's remove uh, just add here the for each directive for the first line before the first line okay so add here at the rate for each for each and now right here this variable name this one's categories edge edge dollar s category okay and after this li just close here the for each in for each and now remove the remaining li so just select from here and uh, select the JLI and just remove this okay now uh, for displaying the image just write here assets just select this and the uh, add here the root double curly bracket then asset and inside this asset asset add here the directory name you can see here the directory name is inside the public folder images then categories okay so first write here images and after this slash categories okay now add here the forward slash then double curly bracket dollar s category arrow image okay and for showing the category name right here dollar s category arrow name okay and also let's copy this name and paste inside the image or tag okay and uh, just remove this and put here the as sign all right now save this now it's done so let's check this so switch to the browser and uh, just refresh the page First of all, uh, let's run the application. Okay, it's not running, so just write here PHP Artisan Cell. Alright, now it's running, so switch to the browser and just refresh the page. Now you can see here the link for the service categories. Now just click on this link, service categories. And uh, inside this, you can see here the all categories. Okay, you see beauty, plumbing and this all okay and also change here the title all services uh, service categories okay change here service categories service categories okay now it's good So in this way you can create the service categories. So that's all about creating service categories. So thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of question, you can ask me in the comment box. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.